Hello everyone, Mark here for Mark's Max Muscle, and today's broadcast is brought to you by KC Darren Incorporated YouTube channel, and KC is also the creator of the Mark's Max Muscle banner. I just always wanted to be professional like that, but in actuality, that was a shout out to my friend KC Darren and his YouTube channel, and check his channel out guys, a lot of rare footage. But back to promoting my own little channel. Nasser Elson Body 1997, Flex Wheeler 1998. Do you guys see the pattern here? Second place in 97 for Nasser, second place for Flex Wheeler in 98. Of course, Nasser did not bring this package to 98. If he did, would he have capitalized and placed second, maybe first? Who knows? And Flex Wheeler, he just did not compete in 97, so. And that was probably one of his missed years. He really probably could have nailed it that year. But anyway, we're going to do this comparison. And there's another hook to this one too, guys. Both of these versions, never defeated by another non-Olympia winner. So they are up for grabs for that lineup that I will eventually do for the best ever version of any bodybuilder. As long as they did not win the title with that version. They could have won it before or after, but this has to be a second or third or fourth place position. Anyway, guys, let's get into this matchup because it is a difficult one. I'm telling you, every matchup, every contest could be could go either way. Even this front relaxed. Gonna lean, I guess, towards Nasser. I, I don't know. The rear relaxed. I'm gonna lean towards Flex Wheeler. Because his muscle separation is much greater, he's a longer-legged creature, that's obvious, and a shorter torsoed man. And Nasser Elson body could be that he has short legs. Much bigger as Nasser, obviously he's heavier. But you can see here, much bigger, but the muscle separation, not as great. And as Na uh, Samir Banu says, doesn't matter how big the house is. You could have a carpenter build a smaller house on a smaller scale and just blow your mind and say, wow, I like that one better. So size doesn't always mean everything. Muscularity round begins with a clean slate. I believe the symmetry round is even front, back. So front double bicep, I racked my brain with this one. It looked like I had the sizes incorrectly. Could Flex Wheeler's arms really be that much bigger than Nasser's? Could be the angle of the shot, but if you cover their arms up, Nasser's physique is much bigger here. Look at the lats. And physique alone, I do like Nasser better, but the arms, obviously. And I'd be foolhardy to say that Nasser is winning because he doesn't have synthal in his arms. They probably both do, and I don't know. I have no information on that, so I gotta go with what I see, and Flex is just more impressive. I like the display of his legs much better in this shot. I'm not saying he has a better set of legs. In my opinion, I like the muscle separation more than the hard graininess, but in this one, I'm gonna give it to Flex. Front lat spread. I got some criticism for giving this one to Nasser before, but take a look, guys. And there is a few front shots, but they're very blurry and far away. He does have a very symmetrical front lat spread as well. Does Nasser? This one here really displaying that hard, grainy conditioning of his legs. But like I said, at the end of the day, I prefer perhaps the softer but better muscle separation in Flex Wheeler's legs and the waist-to-leg ratio is unbeatable. But you know me, I would be so dishonest now if I was going to give this one to Flex because every time I say, oh, I can't give that front lat spread to him because it's non-symmetrical. And obviously, Flex Wheeler is non-symmetrical in this one. Nasser, for sure, all day and daily. I used to be scared to say that, but you know, you know who says it. It's Louis. Side shots. Now, I originally thought these ones would all favor Nasser L, but the angle of the shot, I think it takes away some of the thickness. I believe the camera should be over thusly. And Flex Wheeler, the 1998 version, I'm here to tell you, it's better than the 99. I like you guys. Heck, I love you guys, you fans of mine. But gosh darn it, why do you guys always select the 99 Flex Wheeler, for goodness sakes? Why don't you guys toss out 98? Look at this, look at the leg. Compare this side chest with the 99 side chest. He's much harder, much grainier. Look at the legs, huge. 
But Nasser, I truly believe he would win this shot. The angle of the shot just does not favor him. His chest, if you really look at the far pack, it's, it's bigger, it's harder, it's grainier. So, might receive a little bit of criticism for this one, but I'm going to go ahead and notch up one point to the big Egyptian man, Nasser L. Now, the side tricep, however, I will be going with Flex Wheeler. This was an underrated shot for Flex. He didn't always hit it to this spec. He did a few times earlier on in his career. He should have practiced it up more. Look at the size of his tricep. It's big, just as big or bigger than Nasser's. And Nasser, of course, on a much larger frame. Nasser, big, huge leg and hamstring. But the way Flex has that leg displayed, I know what the rest of it looks like. I know. And it looks good. He has an awesome tricep and the waistline, of course. I will say, though, the angle of the shot is hurting Nasser's waistline. It is thinner than this, but doesn't matter. Flex Wheeler, his is more chiseled and probably smaller anyway. So, Flex, Nasser, Nasser, Flex, what a good matchup. And is could this be make or break time? In the rear lat spread, I always disliked Flex Wheelers. Show me a symmetrical rear lat spread of Flex Wheelers. He did one in 96, but he was softer than a bar of soap. He actually looks phenomenal here, guys. You telling me this 98 version of Flex Wheeler is not as good as the 99? Look at his glutes. Even in this old blurry picture, you can see glutes. Much better than Nasser Elson body. Nasser has the calves. He has the hamstrings. And gosh darn it, with the symmetry, he definitely has the back. Which way do I go here, guys? I don't know. Gosh darn it, Flex, why are you not symmetrical in this pose? It would be a very competitive shot. Slightly inconclusive. Rear double by. And, to be honest, I am almost in the same boat in this one. Oftentimes, when the two back shots are very close, and I'm slightly leaning towards one of the gentlemen in each, I generally will write the shot off. I thought Flex was going to get this one for sure. But his glutes, they do not seem as striated as they were in the rear lad. I like the shape of his glutes more. He has a more genetically blessed bum, I guess. Nasser might be harder and more conditioned, but he has like a badonkadonk. It's a big square box ass. Oh, pardon my language, guys. I generally don't swear. The lat insertions, much cleaner, neater for Flex Wheeler. I like the traps much better. Perfectly symmetrical traps. And his lats are symmetrical in this one as well. So like I said, slight edge to Flex. Not really slight edge to Nasser in the rear lat. Not really. So it's a write-off. Both back shots. Tab and thigh. My lord. This whole match, it could go either way. Nasser is winning on so many factors here. The overall silhouette, the V-taper. Flex never had a huge, impressive V-taper in this shot. And Nasser's abs look to be better conditioned. Usually Flex is winning in that aspect. But Flex has those GD and quads full of feathers. <sighs> Guys, this matchup is one of the most difficult ones that I've ever had to to judge because there's so many factors that you have to put into play here. I mean, if I give this one to Nasser, then I'm just throwing away those legs of Flex Wheeler. <sighs> Slightly inconclusive, slight edge to Nasser. Most muscular, no doubt this one's going to Nasser. When I look at his pecs, when you get good close-up shots of these guys, you can truly see Flex may have better muscle separation but that doesn't mean conditioning, guys. From afar, it does, I guess, because you have to go with what you see. So I guess the spectators really loved Flex Wheeler because they didn't really get a zoom-in close-up shot like the judges do, or even in pitchers. Pitchers, you can get a closer shot. You can get a better impression of their conditioning, and Nasser is just clearly better. The crab position favors Flex Wheeler a lot more than his hands clasped. But still, is it enough to beat Nasser when you look how thick and just bull-like? Nasser is a big bull. So, 
at the end of the day, Nasser gets a slight edge in the most muscular. And every one of these poses has been a slight edge. And when I do look at the score sheets, Nasser actually winning clearly by two points. But when you think about it, if Flex got the ab and thigh, it would have been a tie. And if Flex got the side chest along with the ab and thigh, he'd be winning. I just do not like handing winners or handing out winning trophies or first places to guys that really didn't defeat the other man. But like in the UFC, when a guy beats another guy by the judge's decision, he still gets the title. He still gets the award. So Nasser Alsenbody of 1997 continues on in this little lineup that I will eventually have, starring the 99, Chris Cormier. So uh, Nasser gets a chance, another chance to go against Chris Cormier, his 96 version lost to him, but can the 97 version win? Hard to say. Jay Cutler, 19, or 2001, he's going to be involved in this one as well. That, that version never won the title. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Hit a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe. Look forward to more bodybuilding content from yours truly. I had to add that in the end there, just to, just to be special or perhaps weird. Have a good one, guys.